I'm about to save you so much time because I'm going to tell you the most important professions that you and your crew need to focus on in the beginning of PAX Day or you will waste double digit, maybe even triple digit hours between your team trying to figure this out. OK, or when you do figure it out, you'll be like, damn, if we would have did this in the beginning, we could have saved so much time. Now, when I say that these professions are the most important in the beginning, I'm not saying that other professions aren't as important. So, for example, dual crafting is huge once you really get into it, like tier three and beyond. But in the beginning, you're not really going to be focused on dual crafting too much because, you know, there's other things that that you can handle. So trust me when I say that every profession in this game is equally as important as the others. But understanding that these devs develop this game in a way that it's like developing a real life economy, there's some key things that you guys definitely want to focus on in the beginning, and we're going to cover them all here today. So we're going to go through this in order of importance. So I want you guys to pay real close attention. First things first, when you guys load into the game, you guys need to make sure that you guys find a way to chop wood as soon as possible. OK, wood is going to be the most important resource, period. OK, let me say that again. The most important resource, period. You can never have enough wood in this game. I promise you it's used for everything in this game, literally everything. And if the wood itself is not used, then it's converted to this thing called charcoal, which is basically going to be the lifeblood of your entire civilization forever. <laughs> OK. Followed by wood is going to be your ability to pick up flax, okay? Your ability to set up a team to collect hide, all right? And then, of course, gather iron. Now, listen, there are some other materials that are also really, really important. But these, I found, were the absolute staples all the way throughout. If you didn't have these materials, you literally was doing nothing. Now, the reason why I wanted to mention these first is because I want you to get in the mindset when you're looking at these professions, because woodcutting is a profession, mining is a profession, <laughs> okay? And I want you guys to think about this as you guys are formulating your teams. Now, understanding that, once you guys get into the game, there is a profession that I want to mention first that is important, obviously, but it's just one of those things that, for me, I feel most people will find it a no-brainer. So we're just going to touch on this for a second and then move into the meat and potatoes. Now, this profession is carpentry. OK, now the reason why carpentry is important, if you guys ain't working on this right away, is because you're going to need a shit ton of storage chests. All right. So the faster you guys can get somebody to build a storage chest, the better off you'll be. The faster you can level up your carpenter, the better storage chests you can make. All right. So that's all. That's all the spotlight carpentry gets. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into the nitty grit. After you guys understand that how important wood cutting is, you guys are going to make sure that you mass manufacture charcoal and iron <laughs> all right and the reason why is because with these gathering professions this is something that everyone is going to be doing in the beginning no matter what because people will dramatically underestimate we dramatically underestimated how important these resources are and it slowed us down dramatically okay so now stacking that, the gathering on top of your, uh, you know, your carpenter who's making these boxes, you guys then are going to lean really heavy into blacksmithing, okay? Not blacksmithing itself per se, because blacksmithing is very, very important throughout, but that transition from blacksmith to weaponsmith. Now, weaponsmithing and armorsmithing is, are both equally important, but in the beginning, your weaponsmithing is going to take precedence. The reason I say that is this. Blacksmiths make components for all of your professions. So you're, you'll need a good blacksmith to make your axe heads and pick heads and all that stuff. But your weaponsmith is the one responsible for making your tools. So if you guys are struggling to get out the Stone Age, which a lot of people who don't watch this video will be doing, it's because you didn't focus the materials that I told you that were important that you needed to gather into these particular professions now while you guys are doing that you guys really want to start looking into tailoring and leatherworking these are two professions that we dramatically 
dramatically underestimated because we were just like, oh yeah, it's cool, we can get some clothes here and there, yada, yada, yada. But what we didn't understand is that the converted materials that you're going to get from converting these hides, and this is why you're going to want to have team or teams out running around, hunting, doing whatever the hell they need to do to bring these resources back to you, is because the conversion from these hides into all of the other key materials is going to tie into every single recipe that you can think of once you get guys get past a certain point in the game. The same thing is going to apply to your tailors and their spinning wheels, okay? So when you guys are out gathering all this flax, understand that this stuff is huge, monumentally important. Again, we're talking order of importance. <laughs> so if you guys are doing these things in the order that I'm telling you guys, uh, these things, you guys will be golden. Now, once you guys have that stuff together, again, we're just talking the basic materials here. What you'll start to notice is that all of your recipes and stuff will start to flow. And this literally is going to change your gameplay experience. You'll see people online complaining about why it took so long to graduate from this technology to that technology. Trust me, we were one of those people uh, just because we didn't understand what materials and what professions we needed to focus on first. We approach this game like any other game that we played and just like, oh, this is New World. We just do this, this, and this. No. <laughs> okay? No. And you guys will start to feel it, especially as you guys start to get your reps in uh, for the amount of things that you guys are going to need to gather and you guys are going to need to craft. Now, last but not least, this last one, guys. Okay? This is really, really, really important. And it's something that in most games, people just do for fun, right? Cooking. Cooking is normally just for fun, unless you're playing like Valheim and it's dependent on stats. Well, the challenge here in this game is this kind of like Valheim. Um, but food takes a whole different level in this game. Let me explain to you how. You will have different ingredients or different recipes that will affect the entire way that your character performs. And I'll give you an example. Bread is a great way to increase your defense, all right? Versus other foods are great ways to increase your overall stamina or your resistances or your health regen over time. So if you guys are trying to lessen the need for potions and things like that to my alchemist, and I'll talk about why I didn't really touch on the alchemy here in a second. But food is one of those things that can go easily easily unnoticed uh, or unthought of and then by the time you get to the point where it's easy for you to craft you'll look at all your recipes and you'll be like holy shit if we would have done this from the beginning this would have changed our lives why because food means more stamina more hp more stats which makes it easier for you to grind specific materials and kill monsters, makes it easier for your hunters to collect food, makes it easier for your gatherers to gather materials more consistently and efficiently. So this is definitely something that you don't, don't want to overlook. Cooking is huge in this game, and I cannot stress this enough. So the moment that your hunters, even with their pointy sticks and bringing boars and intestines and all that stuff back, please make sure that you have somebody that's dedicated to cooking so they can hook you guys up because it will change your entire play experience, okay? Especially in the beginning of the game. Now, you guys are wondering why I didn't mention alchemy, <laughs> all right? Alchemy is also very, very important, all right? It's just kind of one of those things that alchemy starts to evolve uh, quite a bit over time, all right? And it takes a lot of time to put in, um, but it's just one of those things that you may or may not be fighting very, very difficult opponents in the beginning because mostly your hunters are going to be focused on things that they can kill easily like deers, boars, uh, some wolves, right? Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, all right? Now, on the flip side, if your PvE teams, your hunting teams are out there and they're trying to do dungeons and fortresses and shit like that, then it's going to dramatically increase the necessity for your potions. So alchemy is is still important. It's, it's one of the most important professions, uh, if not, well, yeah, one of the most important professions. We'll leave it at that. Um, but uh, I would say the other professions that we talked about before this one are going to take precedence in terms of establishing the overall economy of your settlement. And then once you guys get your economy stabilized, then you guys can utilize all the excess materials to do the things that you're going to need 
And you, <laughs> when you guys see alchemy and the resources that you guys are going to need for alchemy, you'll understand why I said to focus on these materials. But you'll see that with time. But all in all, guys, I really just wanted to take this opportunity and save you guys a ton of pain and frustration uh, and really just highlight the key professions that if you guys, I swear to you, if you if you focus on this, it'll streamline your 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 early game profession so much and that you can get into doing the things that you want to do. City building, role playing, uh, dungeon diving, uh, PvP, whatever, right? But locking your econ into place with these professions will literally change everything about the game for you in the beginning. But with that being said, guys, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.